Tell me a little bit about Shut Up and Talk. What is <laughs> Shut Up and Talk? <laughs> it's what I just did. Yeah, look, yeah, laugh. look, yeah. <laughs> uh, let, the, you, want, you want the original? Like, we're, we're yeah. The, yeah, the original did. Shut Up and Talk, after I was on another show, I guess, quote unquote, mainstream show. Mm -hmm. When I left that show, I said, if I go back to doing radio, the only way I do it is if, I do, if he's part of it, yeah. Bug D got to be a part of it. And I said, he got to be able to be my show. The show I was on, you know, the show before that, I was a character. And I wasn't able to be myself, wasn't able to, you know, keep it real, none of that. I hated that. Bro. Yeah. Oh. We hated that. I'm it's, talking about literally. used to be on air. I used to text him. Bro, this, bro. Right that now. Like, ass. Like, it was, yeah, it was, it was literally, but it was a learning experience. Three years, yeah. you know, that's what helped me understand radio and, it, you know, and all the ins and outs as far as that go. So we left there, that was, that was, that was the thing. Only way I do radio again is if it was, if I was able to do it my way and Buck D had to be a part of it. Uh, fast forward, we get the opportunity. Wait, uh, wait, we skipping. Oh, the, shoot, the real origin started at our crib. Oh yeah, at the space. No, the, and that, That's the reason what it was literally the reason why I said Buddy had to be a part of it. Not only you know, cause this made my god brother and the homie, but. Yeah. We would always have, you know, we'd always have get-togethers. Uh, I wouldn't even say once a week. We'd have it every other day. But during the week, kicking it, <laughs> playing spades, drinking, yeah. talking ish. Nothing was off limits. We were talking you know about everything. Yeah, and lit I mean, I, you you talk about heated discussions. I remember this uh, discussion we had. My auntie and uncle had came down. They was they were there. Oh, from Atlanta, back to California. Yeah. And they stopped in New Mexico. We playing spades. And my uncle drops his bombshell that he's a Trump supporter. Trump supporter. And I, when I say, man, I'm talking about, we sitting there. You would have thought. Was it Trump? Because that was some years before. It, it, it was Republican. I don't it remember. Was like yet. Bush. It was, I think it was Bush. Bush. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but he, he dropped Bush, his bombshell Trump, yeah, that he was a, a Republican. Yeah. And I'm talking about, you would have never believed we was related. You would never, <laughs> you would never believe it was a family. Because yeah. my auntie is on, like, she getting on him. Yeah. And it's funny because my uncle, her husband, my mom, he, he's sitting there. He's started it. Yeah. But he knew what was going to happen if he mentioned, mm -hmm. hey, you know your uncle Republican. Yeah. And man, I'm talking about, but those are the type of conversations like from just clowning and, 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 and being just no sense to a serious nah, we, politician we type. We knew we had something. Yeah. Every time we get around the, the table, we knew we had something. And, and, and now I'm talking about, my, you, we're in a house. We're in the dining room of a house. And I mm -hmm. mean, you got 50, 60 people mm -hmm. surrounding us, trying to squeeze in just to watch the space Why game. Why the hell? Not really, watching, exactly, not really <laughs> watch the game, but just to hear us talk. Like, that's how kind of cultivated it was. So, man, when we got the opportunity to take that formula and somebody say, hey, you want to do a show? First thing was creative control. <laughs> Can yeah. we talk about whatever we want to talk yeah, about? Whatever like, we want. Any last words before you get us kicked off air? Hey, man, look. They just told me I can say ass, so I think it would be all right. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to figure out how he was going to put eat ass in one of these shows. <laughs> <laughs> now he's like, I got it. I'm in there. I got the two thumbs up. <laughs> I, I want to say this, though. Where we came from when it first started, we had no structure. It nah, was nah. basically the space table mm -hmm. on air. Yeah. And it it was so bad, uh, we wasn't professional, you know. Nah. I ain't gonna lie, we would drink on air. Yeah. Me and L, the thing, the thing that worked, because when it came to a lot of subjects, me and L did not see eye to yeah. eye. And, and that's what a lot of folks never got. They bro, didn't they, they assume, like, Cause we ride and die and they always see us yeah. together that we mm -hmm. agree with everything and it's the exact mm -hmm. opposite, you know. So that that was like the the, the the us clashing made for a good show. We, and you know what? We didn't even know how bad and how good it was until yeah. we listened. Because uh -huh. we were yelling. We would get into real arguments yeah, yeah. on air. Hey, like people disputes. would call us. They would call us. They would be on the live feed. They'd be like, y'all good? We was like, yeah, yeah we finna go chill after this. Inboxing us. The ones that hate him. Inboxing yeah. me. I knew, hey, he, was, me, I knew he wasn't your boy, man. He, <laughs> he, he did a snake the whole time. I'm telling you. <laughs> and it literally, like, when we done, we done. Like, yeah. all right, that's your opinion. That's mine. On to the next. Like, you know, no love lost. But it was it was that us listening back and, and seeing we got some then we said okay now tweak it man now 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 we got to try to make this somewhat professional yeah. but still keep that edge mm -hmm. so then it was like we got to be able to argue but because I remember one person commented and they inbox us and told us they was like when well, you guys are both talk we can't hear you can't hear. so then it was like okay now we got to formulate this where yeah. even though I'm mad and we both Two going off strong person yeah. we, we didn't gotta, feed off each other that's yeah, what the, yeah. that's what the difference was. We didn't feed off each other. We was just talking at each other, mm -hmm. trying to get louder than the other one. So, and, and once we once we started like being mindful of, I right, let, let him get his point. Mm -hmm. Let me get mine back and forth, you know, and and basically arguing, but like I, I, guess, I guess structurally arguing, if that's a word. Like, I want to like, say what what I did was 
I had to realize we were doing this for an audience. Because uh, then I was just like, it's me and L. Forget yeah, yeah. it. I don't care what nobody got to say. We just going to get our stuff off. So once that happened, yeah. and I'm going to tell you, when we came here, that's everything was already yeah, together. Yeah. When I say here, I'm talking about, you know, over here at Arrows. Yeah, Radius Radio. Radius Radio. Yes, Once yes. we got over here, it was a big time leap. It was... I can't even imagine us back then, bro. Like, I, I it was it was bad. Not, the thing it was I'm, like, it, I won't say bad. It was just unprofessional. It was kind of I can, I'll say ghetto. It, it was, was good, ghetto. yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and I'll be honest. What, what we we were told, and I, I'm not going to say promise, but we were told certain things were going to happen, certain yeah. things were going to be when when we were at the other other spot. Mm-hmm. And when it, didn't, when it didn't happen, that kind of, we lost our, I think, some of our... Uh, our, our, our juice, for lack of a better way. We I, lost know, I was done. Yeah, I we lost the you, energy. Man. Then I remember, <laughs> I remember <laughs> one show, man, where we came, we got, we get there, and the AC is broke, or the swamp cooler, whatever they had oh in the God. building. It was and July. Bro, we, this is back when we would get there at 6 30. Yeah, yeah. Start at 7. We'd go from 7 to 11. Yeah. Five days a week. And you got to remember our old Seven show. To 11. Every show we started, we would stop at, at the liquor store. We got yep. a gallon of Rossi. That was every show. Yep. So we're drinking. There's no AC. I mean, oh we are sweating, bro, and trying to do this show. And I'm talking, you talk about just everybody's been in your own house. You've been at home yeah. and, and get pissed off because it's hot. Yeah. But imagine being at work where you gotta, you're expected to continue to be cool and yeah. chill and clown nah. and you're hot as hell. So <laughs> that was like one of the last straws it was like, nah, that, that was. Done, bro. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's over with. After that, we was like, all right, bro. But but we always believed in Shut Up and Talk. We yeah. believed in what we had. So we didn't know what was gonna happen. You know, and then we would get some big you know, interviews. We had Crooked Eye and, oh, and, yeah. and, and uh, no, Big uh, Sloan. Um, and, even uh, Umar Johnson, yeah, Umar, Dr. Yeah, Umar, Dr. Johnson. Umar Johnson, when he came to show. So those, yeah, that, those are the other things that kind of uh, that that, made us hold on. Like, okay, even though it's some bad conditions, you know, it's worth it, so to speak. I learned because y'all got to understand, I had never done that. I've never done like professional interviews. Yeah. So I would sit back and watch LB. And what, the more we did it, the more comfortable I felt yeah. with the questions I would ask or how I would be and not a fanboy and stuff like that. So. And I think That's that gave us, and then we got blessed with the opportunity to come over here and shoot, you know, once we got here, the rest was history, you know how that go. You are now watching the most talked about TV show in your city. I'm LB Johnson. And this is your boy, Buck Dangerous. And this is Shut Up and Talk TV. TV. We got a crazy show tonight.